so that this 241 lab is uh, ready before you start. So this is 241. I'm just starting and then I'll continue my presentation. This is 241. Start the lab, it will take a couple of minutes of time. Yeah. So here, so please download and uh, connect to this uh, uh, server. So this is my public IP. <clears throat> EPK, it is 23. So, if you connect this one, uh, task number one is complete. Task number one. Yeah, if you all of you are ready, then I can start this task two. If you want me to wait, I'll wait. Ready, sir. Ready? Task one is complete, right? Yeah, anyone else want me to wait? Yeah? Anyone wants me to wait? Okay, I didn't hear from anyone. I think only if you are able to... Uh, if you are able to ask questions, then it's fine. So the first one is to uh, verify the status of uh, HTTPD service. So the command number is uh, point number 24. You can just say sudo system CTL status. So which will tell you, see, uh, in this case, in continuation to my previous lab, that is uh, uh, installation yum install. So he has already mentioned that this uh, uh, HTTPD service has been installed already. But let us identify, let us identify whether the service has been started or not, started or not. So it is clearly said that, mentioned that the service is inactive and dead. Did you all observe? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, how to start the service? Just to take this up arrow, instead of status, just say start. Instead of status, just say start. Ha. Huh. Before I do this one, uh, what's my public IP? You can also paste this public IP. See this one, since it is an HTTP service, this is my public IP. Right, just copy, open a new tab, open a new tab and paste this one. As of now, it won't work because it has not, service is not run. You see this one, it will go on, go on, go on and it will say page not found because the service is not there. Yeah, this site can't be reached. I, this is as expected, as expected. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the service. Yeah, the service is started now. You can see that if there are no errors, service is started. Okay, to confirm that, you can ask the previous command as status. Now, now you see this one, status, you ask the status. So it is active and running. Did you see all of you active and running? Yes, sir. Okay. To confirm whether it is running or not, try to refresh this. You should see test phase. If you are seeing test phase, the service is running. The service is running. Yeah? Got it, everyone? Whoever is doing? Yes, sir. The test phase should come like this, powered by a patch. Okay. Once again, what you can do, you can stop the service and see. Stop. So, what it will do, it will stop the service. It should not take much time. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. For me, it's showing this page is not uh, reached after refreshing. I didn't get you. Hello, sir. Yeah, I didn't get you. 
after pasting the ip address in the new tab i refreshed it again sir yeah but it's showing this site is can't reach yeah reachable. start the service then it should show like this it will be we have to start the service as yes, sir i have started yeah so it should uh, like this to start the service and then ask for the status ask for the status it should show you uh, it is running yes sir it is running now try to now try to refresh it should work okay sir okay okay sir yeah so that's all about this task number 2 task number 2 okay any questions anyone task number 3 is top top utility we did this earlier but still once again we will do top so you can say top 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 it will show you uh, the uses of uh, your process uh please understand this one this is your cpu the first second line is the first line is the process there are about 96 process which are there one is running and 55 is sleeping zero stopped and zero zombie this is cpu 0.2% is user 0.2 is system 99.8 is idle idle please understand that It means that there are no activities which are being used by the cpu understood if there is any activities it will show you at the bottom at the bottom so all of them the cpu usage is 0.3 0.3 that's all or even 0% cpu is not active means that it is not being used at all okay so there is one application for you q for quit there is one application for you if you run that what will happen uh, it will use cpu it will use cpu this is a demo application you can see that There is one application called as stress dot sh. Stress dot sh. You can say dot slash. Run this stress dot sh, and say uh, open this top. Stress dot sh. Run in background, and then open top application. So what will happen? You see, the entire CPU has been utilized by number of process. Stress process is there. There are about fifteen process stress. With about thirteen percent each, and it is fully consumed. Your CPU utilization is fully consumed. This is as expected. EC2 user has run this stress program, and it is fully consumed. Got it? <coughs> yeah. so this is the expected output like this so i think uh, that's all that's all about this uh, top utility you can just quit you can just quit this is about service management service management see we have a utility called as cloud watch also so what you can do for cloud watch just open this cloud watch you can close this test phase okay, if you see this phase just log out and log in there is a cloud watch utility i'll show you that so there is a linux server yeah go to ec2 go to ec2 as usual and you have an instances you have instances select your linux instance you have only one instance command host select that okay you see this one okay so you can you can uh, go with multiple methods one is you can go with uh, what we call as monitoring and see that there are various kind of utilization graphs so you see this graph i'll just expand and show you this is how your cpu utilization graph this will record every 5 minutes this is the graph which is currently 
So what you can also do, you can also do with CloudWatch. There is a separate utility. From this one also you can do, or I'm showing you both methods. CloudWatch. Just open this particular one. So he's trying to teach you, you have a separate lab again for CloudWatch. So in this CloudWatch, uh, what you can do is that you can select the instance and then ask for the graphs. Yeah, like this. This is through the EC2 dashboard, which we have already seen. But still, once again, we will see. So here, yeah, you can see this matrix. And especially the EC2. This in detail, you'll get. For instance, matrix. Also, if you want CPU utilization, you can just select CPU utilization. Yeah, same graph is shown here. Same graph. Earlier, I showed in an enlarged format. This also is same. Every five minutes, it shows. So, the same thing is shown here also. The CPU utilization average. The graph may not be exactly same, but here it is exactly like, like this. So, wait for five minutes, then you will see more, one more matrix which has come. You just try to refresh you may see something like, like this. It has increased. It has increased like this, 50%. Maybe after five minutes more, you will get more. Is this clear, everyone? Yes, sir. So that's all. The third part is uh, also helpful in uh, real time. Uh, but at this point of time, please understand that CloudWatch will record all the metrics. So there are various other metrics also, as I mentioned, disk read, uh, I mean like <clears throat> network read, disk write, disk write ops, etc., etc. All these kind of uh, measurable values are there here. Yeah, you can see here. EBS, so CPU utilization we did. Many more metrics are there. Many more metrics are there. EBS is nothing but disk, disk read, disk write, etc., etc., all this thing. So if you wait for five minutes and try to refresh, you will get one more. One more will come, whether it is up or down. Every five minutes by default, it is there for all the inst instances. So I think that's all about this uh, particular one. So expected output, please. Huh? By default, AWS CloudWatch uh, aggregates data for five minutes before processing. Uh, yeah, this is a setup that can be changed. If you want for less than five minutes also, you can do, but in our graph, it is not given, but it can be changed. Maybe less than one minute or even less than half a minute also you can do. So it, it collects the metrics and then it will produce in the form of a graph. This will help basically for the administrators to understand about how the system is performing. So we have learned about two activities in this. One is basically the services, system services, how to stop and start. Okay, we learned. Status also we learned. And then finally, we also saw about uh, the second one is uh, the performance. So top we have seen and also CloudWatch also we have seen. Yeah, is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you are done, you can end this lab.